Ooh, the curls certainly are out to play today, aren't they? Hello, my dudes, and welcome or welcome back to another video. We're back with some more Squishmallow content for you. I'm gonna be doing a little mini hunt. I'm at Target. I'm actually not here for Squish. There's this notebook that my friend sent me on Instagram, and I really just wanna see if they have them here. <laughs> so that's what I'm here to check for. But since we're here, of course, we're gonna look for Squishmallows and Bum Bums, of course. This Target has not had any Bum Bums in stock at any point that I've known about. Um, I've been to this Target pretty frequently, and I've never seen any Bum Bums here. I saw Bum Bums once at the other Target in my area but never this one. I don't know, so I'm hoping to find, of course, the Target Bum Bum Squad, but I also just really want to find some fun squish. I feel like I've been seeing the same Squishmallows everywhere that I go, and I'm kind of tired of it. So, I'm hoping to find some good Squishmallows in stock. We'll see what they have. I also have a few unboxings to get to in this video, which I'm super excited to show you. So we're just here for a nice little fun time. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I make tons of Squishmallow hunts. We do other little cozy vlogs, cozy content, cozy gaming. It's a fun time around here. But yeah, I'm just gonna head into Target. Let's go inside. I just get robbed by Target. I feel like I got robbed by Target. I didn't even buy anything. How did I spend? Okay, well, as you could see in the store, they had the same exact Squishmallows that they've had for probably going on like a month or two now, honestly. It's getting frustrating seeing the same things over and over. No Bum Bums, no new Squish. So I didn't end up buying any plush or anything like that. I did get like one, two fun items, kind of. So I'll do a little haul. I found the notebooks that my friend was talking about. So I got one for me and I got one for her. I'm super picky about like the inside of journals and just like the paper and the notebooks and stuff. And the lines on this are immaculate. You see how perfect the lines are dark? They're small. The notebook is gorgeous. It feels really nice. I also got some soup because it's like gloomy outside and soup just always sounds good. I got Bentley some little bully dental chews. And then last but not least, I got a new water bottle. I was looking for a Stanley water bottle because everyone's been raving about them. But of course they're sold out every time I go to any store ever. So I got this Ella water bottle. I've had one Ella water bottle before, but this one is like insulated. That's it, that's the Target haul. Sorry there were no squish, but how about we get into some unboxings? Before we get into any more Squishmallow slash plushy unboxing and hunting, I just wanted to say thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video. Like, I'm sorry, but do you see this? So Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box where you'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan. And a lot of these are like limited time only products like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, Ramen, and much more. And Sakura Co is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. Sakura Co supports local Japanese snack makers and each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. These boxes let you experience Japan from the comfort of your own home. And today we're doing it from the comfort of my own desk. We're actually gonna be doing some taste testings today of both the Tokyo Treat and the Sakura Co boxes. Both are Sakura themed. So the Tokyo Treat box is Sakura Picnic Party and the Sakura Co theme is Arrival of Sakura. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's in the boxes. While I read the description of what the boxes are about, it's so cute. Okay, ready? Spring is in the air. It means that Sakura season is here. This month, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co bring the beauty of Sakura season right to your doorsteps so you can have your own Hanami picnic with our special Sakura-themed snack box. This box is not only packed with delightful Sakura-themed treats, but it also features a stunning Sakura box design. Everything is so cute. So again, like I said, we're gonna do some taste testing of the snacks in each box, and then also I'm gonna try the tea from Sakura Co. If you are interested in getting any of these boxes, you can check out the link down in the description or in the pinned comment. You can also use code Hanami for these boxes to celebrate Sakura season and get additional items in your boxes. This is an affiliate link, so I thank you so much in advance for checking it out, and thank you so much again for Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna boil some water for tea. Give me two seconds. This is one of the variants of the dishware that comes with the Sakura Co box for April. It's gorgeous. And this is the tea I'm gonna be trying, sweet Sakura tea. 
Oh, they're literal cherry blossoms. It looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. Ignore the spoon marks on my cup. Oh, look how pretty the flowers look in here. I'm sorry. This is so pretty. All right, I'm going to cover this and then we'll drink it after it brews. And then I think in the meantime, we'll try some of our Tokyo treat snacks. It does come with a pamphlet that tells you what each treat is. First, okay, peach Kit Kat. I'm excited. Let's open it and try it. Look at how cute that is. That is so pretty. That is so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Since we're having candy, I thought we would have some of these Sakura cherry candies that they have. Cherry's honestly one of my favorite flavors. Ooh, it's so pretty. That is one of the best hard candies I've ever had in my entire life. What the heck? Okay, and the packaging on this is adorable, so I really want to try it. This is the Full Moon Pond Cracker. It's supposed to be like savory. Ready? You want some ASMR? Mmm, it's super light. It's like a like a rice cake and the flavor is subtle, but it's so yummy All right, and let's try one more thing from this box before we get into the Sakurako box. This is really pretty We're gonna try one of these. I don't want to butcher the pronunciation. So this is the little description of it It's just like a little pastry with pink cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste it like almost melts in your mouth. This is delicious. Yeah, this one is my favorite so far. On to the Sakurako box. First off, let's try the tea. I love tea, so I'm so excited. That's amazing. I feel like I'm at like a literal tea house right now, but it tastes so floral and fresh. That tastes amazing. We have these gorgeous little shortbread cookies. It's filled with Sakura jam. Excited to see what it tastes like. That was amazing. Why is everything so good? We've got these Sakura soft chews. That was just one of the prettiest things when I opened the box. I was like, oh, I have to eat that. I, I need that. That's adorable. I almost don't want to eat it because it looks so cute. Oh, that's good. I don't even know how to like describe the flavors in here. It's just, it's so sweet, but it's also very light and like not too overpowering. This is delicious. This is going to be our last little snack of the day. I once again don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry, but these look amazing. They're little rice crackers. Mm. It's like sweet and savory at the same time. That's delicious. Thank you so, so much again to Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video. Genuinely, I would recommend picking up a box either for you or for a loved one, for a gift, whatever you want. These are amazing. And I honestly feel like anybody in your life could use one of these, especially you. Treat yourself. If you'd like to check out any of these boxes or if you just want some more information, the links will be down in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, let's get back to the plushies. <sighs> okay, it is hot. I'm a little bit dying but we have the goods from hot topic so we'll do the little one first we've got a micromolo tin can micromolo capsule of like the desert squad this is a new mystery squad set i believe Let's see oh what is this like a I want to say this is like a warthog or like what's that pig from the Lion King? <laughs> is that what this is? This is cute. Oh wait, I love him. Wow. Okay, the little teeny tiny like they're such good quality aside from this little hair piece like falling out. But like the fabric is super nice. It's like stitched or embroidered or whatever that's called. I don't even really know what kind of animal it is, but it's very cute. And then next I got the mystery the scented mystery squad uh, in the what is this five inch version. So again, it's this little desert squad, I think. Which one do I want? The pig's really cute, honestly. I wouldn't mind getting the pig, the scorpion, the meerkat. Honestly, I'd be fine with mostly all of them. I just know that the snake is gonna have the printed fabric and I don't want that. But anything else, I would love the scorpion. He'd be kind of cool. It just smells perfumey. I don't know. It's kind of light though. <gasps> it's a little me. Is this a, this is a meerkat, right? Are these not scented? Wait, they're not scented. Why is this, the bottom of this bag smells like perfume. Very lightly of perfume, that's why I thought they were scented, but he is not scented. We've got this little meerkat, buddy. Oh my God, he's so cute. He matches me? Stop, he's adorable. I'm so glad that I ordered these. So I came to Walmart to do some squish and bum bums hunting and it wasn't raining on the way over here and now it's like, it's, it's just pouring. But anyway, hi, it is 10.30 in the morning. And I just know there are Squishmallows in stock here at this Walmart because I've checked online. So I know they're here. Bum Bums, they don't show Bum Bums online. So I have no idea if there's gonna be any here, but I figured we might as well try it. Oh, I should have brought an umbrella. Oh well.
I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not expect to find anything at this Walmart. Here's a hair haul. I'm just kidding. You didn't come to see the hair haul. I've been avoiding coming to this Walmart. I should have just been coming here all along because I was like, they're not gonna have anything. Surely they won't have anything. And they have new Squishmallows and new Bum Bums. I got the lamp. Look, at I didn't know the lamp had this little like pulley thingy. Like look, so freaking cute. Here is the little Bum Bums tag. Walmart has the best prices for the seven and a half inch Bum Bums because these are only eight, seven, seven or eight dollars at Walmart. Her name is Leslie. She's a precious little baby. This is the one I've been wanting. This is one of the Bum Bums that I've wanted the most out of all of the, there actually were so many of him in stock. I was shocked to see so many of the little fireplace. Oh my God, he's precious. I should have got two of him. This guy's precious. I'm putting him above my desk so I could see him every day. The tag, this is Francis. I'm so happy I went here. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even gonna come here today. I was like, no, I'm not, I don't need to go. I did need to go. I did need to go. You know what's so super funny is that I just tried to record an unboxing video and it turns out I forgot to click record. I, I didn't record anything. So I guess instead of this being a little unboxing segment, which is, what I thought I'd filmed. It's gonna be a small mini Bum Bums and Squishmallow haul. I'm so bummed. <laughs> I'm so bum bums. I placed an order on Owl and Goose Gifts, which is one of my favorite places ever to buy Squishmallows and now Bum Bums that they have them in stock. I'll show you the Squishmallow first. I got my hands on sweet little Winnie. She is absolutely precious. Honestly, when Winnie was first released, I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted her just because I love the heart embroidery. I just didn't know if I was gonna like the sparkly bit inside, but seeing her in person, I love her. My first ever walrus is Bruce. That was actually my first ever Squishmallow and the only other walrus that I have. So I feel like he just needed, he needed a little buddy. I also ordered a Bum Bums plush from Owl and Goose Gift. So here is Whitney, the mammoth elephant. What is, what is this? She is so cute. Look at this crazy hair. I love it. She has the famous Bum Bums like material. I don't know. It's really hard to explain like what the material feels like. It sort of feels like a teddy coat material mixed with like your favorite childhood stuffed animal that you like slept with and cuddled with and stuff it's kind of like that it's pretty soft here is whitney's tag she is most likely to be a pro athlete and then of course we've got the sticker on the other side so here they are once again two little babies from owl and goose gift sorry again i didn't get the actual unboxing but i hope this little show off haul did it for you two of the most precious little babies you ever did see